Hey, it's Lori Ballin out here in Las Vegas with Lori Ballin Team, and today I'm going to show you how we use tags to trigger automation. Now, a year ago, we didn't have this capability. We used to have to launch our smart plans, which are the follow-up email and text messages that get dripped out after the lead comes in. We used to have to trigger those manually. Now we can do these automatically by using triggers. So I'm going to walk you through an example today. We're going to go into Facebook um, ads in campaigns. We're going to set up an ad. I'm going to show you where you can add that tag and then we'll go into smart plans and I'll show you how that tag then automates that drip email campaign so that you have follow-up strategies going out automatically. So what we're going to do is over here on the left hand side, we're going to scroll down to this megaphone and we're going to click on campaigns. After we get to campaigns, we're going to want to create a new paid ad. So we're going to do that a couple ways. We can click on paid ads and we can start working from there or we can just click create campaign. And then we're gonna choose uh, social ad paid. Next, you're gonna give your campaign a name. So I'm gonna pretend this is my hyperlocal Facebook strategy. And then you're gonna click one of these boxes which uh, basically don't do anything specific. They don't fire any kind of uh, plan they're more for tracking the data of how we're using the system so however it is that you're running this ad you can go ahead and click one of those and then where do you want your campaign to run do you want it to run on facebook twitter or instagram or all three for the sake of this video i'm just going to click on facebook because all we're really after today is to show you how we create this tag i have other videos that walk you through everything about how to create um, facebook ads so if you scroll down right here to lead settings, click on lead settings. And now you have the question, what do you want to happen to leads that come in from this campaign? So let's just say I am running um, an ad to attract buyers. I might want to go down and select my buyer tag. Here's how you can decide how to tr what to assign. You should first set up your smart plans that are going to cultivate your leads for you. You might be using a custom smart plan that you're building just for this ad, or you might be using a 36 touch, or you might have downloaded another agent's um, smart plan or it might be one like my brothers Paul and Jeff at Ballon Brands have where it's the buyer arrival, buyer survival and buyer revival plan and that basically um, has the same type of messaging for any type of would-be buyer lead. So let's just say that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to um, fire a campaign and I want to tag them with buyer. Now you can also tag them I'm, I'm just kind of quickly scrolling through so that you can see some of my other tags that are in there. You can also tag them with a custom tag. So if this if this um, leads that come in, I'm going to tag this hyper local um, real estate market ad because maybe I want to specifically know which ones came in from this ad. You can do that too. So I'm going to type in hyper local specific Ad. And I could even say uh, March, or what we're in December. I'll just say December 2021. You can do that if you want to, okay? Now, right now, I don't have a tag for that, so I would click Create New Tag. You can assign it a color if you want to, and I can click Add. If I want to, right from here now, I can say Also Assign to Smart Plan, and I can pick a Smart Plan. So what we have happening here is we have multiple ways to get to this goal of auto triggering a tag. We can do it by creating the smart plan first and setting up the tag that goes with that. Or we can go straight into our ad, 
pick our tag or add a tag, and then we could even assign that lead now to an automatic smart plan, okay? So we have tags that automatically activate the smart plans, or we also just have this ability here to assign a smart plan for anybody that comes in from this ad, okay? So maybe I want them to get my buyer arrival. There it is, buyer balance, buyer arrival, smart plan. I can put that in there. So now it will still add this tag for tracking purposes, but it will launch this smart plan automatically, okay? Before we go, I'm going to go into smart plans and I'm going to show you how it how it works from that angle so that you get a better picture of this if you have not been in smart plans and looked at how those automatically fire the tags, okay? So in this particular case, you can skip assigning tags and you can just add straight to a smart plan. Or you can assign tags that automatically trigger a smart plan, which we're going to go look at now how to set that up. You can do both assign tags and activate a smart plan. But if you already have a tag that is triggering a smart plan, you do not need to also then add that smart plan because your tag is already doing it, okay? So basically I would only use this second part assigned to smart plans if you have not gone in and set up triggers that launch smart plans. Does that make sense? Okay. so. After you've created your ad, you go into lead settings and you can set that up there. Now let's go into smart plan so you can see it from this other angle and get a bigger picture of what it looks like. Okay, so on the left hand side, we're going to uh, go down here to smart plans. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave, walk away from this uh, ad because I don't need it to be running right now. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to walk away from that. Okay, getting a little sunlight through the window there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into, um, let's look at this, my test smart plan. I'm just going to open a test smart plan. You can see when you open the test smart plan, what's in it. Okay. So pretend this is your buyer smart plan that you already have loaded. Okay. You can go over here to add a contact to the smart plan manually. You can click on the pencil to edit the smart plan, or you can click on the three dots to copy it, publish it to the big shared library, or delete it, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into edit with the pencil, because this is where we assign track, uh, tags that actually trigger, okay? So here's where this is done. Don't get overwhelmed if you've never seen smart plans about all the stuff on the page. I've got lots of videos that show you exactly how to create smart plans, how to download them, how to edit them. Today, all we're focused on is how we get that automation to trigger. Well, it's right up here. And this, if you do not see this, let's just say you're creating a custom smart plan. You're creating a um, 45 Main Street just listed Facebook ad campaign. And so you want to create a 45 Main Street smart plan. I do a lot of customization with mine. So you want to create that. Then you have to save it before this trigger event is going to show up up top. Okay. So if you don't see that at a trigger event, go ahead and save your smart plan. You might have to exit out and back in and then you'll see that add trigger. So if you click on add trigger, it says, please select the category and trigger event that would start this smart plan. So this is your automation, okay? So right now, our, we're working in contacts. It looks like there's gonna be a placeholder for other options there. We're working within contacts. The trigger event is a contact tag. So when the person fills out the Facebook lead form, then Facebook's going to assign whatever tag you choose. So down here, is where you're gonna choose your tag. So just like we saw before, um, if you want this to be, uh, whatever address I said, 44 Main Street. Okay, Th in this section here, we're not gonna be able to add custom add a tag like we did in Facebook. I wasn't sure if that was there yet. So instead, we're going to go choose one of our already existed tags. Let me see, yeah. You can add up to 10 tags. Be careful with this. Remember, 
this triggers an automation. So if you say, oh, everybody that has the buyer tag and, the, and 44 Main Street and an open house and SOI and this, then all of a sudden all these people are going to be getting your um, smart plans when you choose that trigger. So we want to be cautious about that. Okay. So the fact that we cannot create a custom tag in here means that you would either need to create that custom tag in the Facebook section, Facebook ad section, or you would need to create it in the, um, in the tags under contacts. I'm not sure why they haven't given us that ability to do that yet. So contacts, contact tag, and then choose the tag that you want to add. And we're going to click choose trigger. Um, I'm going to show you now where to go, where you can go add a tag. So it says this will start your smart plan when a tag is added to a contact. Note, any contacts that already have this tag will not be added to the smart plan. So when I was cautioning you about choosing too many tags and, and I was saying all these people are going to get put on it, I don't mean retroactively. It doesn't go crawl back through your database and say all those people are added to the smart plan automatically. It's a moving forward trigger. So that would mean if you have a new client and you that client came in through an open house and they're also a buyer and you close the deal and they became your sphere of influence and you have all three of those tags, SOI, open house, buyer, right? And you do all of that after this smart plan is fired, then they would end up getting that smart plan and you may not want all of that. So there is a, a cautionary um, step here of slowing down and making sure you understand how smart plans work so that you're not triggering events later that you didn't realize you set up today. Okay. So it's not going to go backwards, but it can still mess you up moving forwards if you didn't want that, um, that person to receive this type of a, a campaign. So you need to watch those tags. And early on when I was teaching KW Command, I said, watch how you tag everything because those tags are going to become your trigger events. They're going to be what launch automation and create other processes. So how you tag your people in your database really needs to be a very specific process that you spend some time on. Okay. So to, um, to, to at, set up your tags, what we're going to do now as we're going to go up to, I believe it's up here. I haven't been in there in a while. Let's double check. So we're going to go to um, settings right here, settings. And then we're going to go into command settings, contacts, contact tags. Now what you're going to access is all of the tags that you have created. And I have a bunch, so I'm not sure unless there's a delay why I'm not seeing them all, but this would be where all of your contacts are. That was weird. So if I type something in, I can see them, but it's not, oh, there they are. Now they're showing up on the list. So if you get that white screen that doesn't do anything, oftentimes just poking around at your a uh, search box or something on the screen will get things to move forward. Um, okay, so here we go. So you can see all the tags. And then what you can do is you can edit any tag and you can add a color coding system. So if you have sat down and figured out what you want your red to be, what you want your black to be, what you want your, you know, maybe your sphere of influence is the black button. Or maybe you're going to tag, you know, uh, the black is specifically triggers that fire smart plans. So you're only going to use the black tags for action tags that trigger uh, a smart plan. You know, something along those lines. You can do that. Okay. You can edit the title without messing anything up. That's fine. At least to my knowledge. Um, because it should be working off of that same tag, not really the, the, the title. Um, so you can, uh, trash these, but keep in mind, if you trash a tag that you have activated a smart plan on, then that trigger would be gone. That automation would be gone. And if you want to create a new tag, just go to create tag, put in the name, put in the color and then click create. Okay. So 
the the if you're going to trigger automation, the first step really should be going in and creating the tag because that tag is going to tell you how you're going to fire your smart plan. The next step would be going into smart plans and creating a smart plan that is directly related to that tag. And then the third step is going in to run your ad, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And in there, you assign a tag that automatically trigger, triggers the campaign. That's the cleanest way to do this. It can get a little messy if you're working with tags that trigger smart plans, but then you're also selecting it to fire a smart plan. It can get a little bit weird with that. So if you have any questions, uh, comment below in the YouTube video. If you need help with this, my brother, Jeff and Paul Helvin over at balanbrands.com build and integrate your smart plans, your text message, your Twilio um, account. They, they work with you on all of that stuff. So if you need some hired help, check out balanbrands.com. And I'm Lori Ballin in Las Vegas, and I would love your referrals. Thanks so much for joining me today.